All right, hey everyone, this is Ash. Welcome back to the King's Speech. Uh, so back from my mini hiatus. Uh, still stressed, still a lot of shit going on, but uh, I need to de-stress somehow, so it's back to making some videos. Uh, so yeah, so we just finished recording both uh, last week's Akane chapter, uh, as well as the recent Kaiju chapter. Uh, we're going to get to a new jump series here that just dropped, uh, which is called Goku Rakugai. Uh, I have seen just an intense amount of hype over, over this series uh, all over my timeline. And I think if anyone that knows me would know exactly why I've decided to react to this series uh, on this channel. To which my only defense is, I'm just a man and I simp hard. So as soon as I saw Mist How, you all should have known what the deal was going to be. You all should have known this was going to get its, vi its own video. Uh, so we're going to be diving into that series here in just a second. Uh, because I'm really looking forward to it. There was, like I said, a lot of hype around it, so I'm really excited to dive into it. Uh, we're also going to get to some new Spy Family tomorrow, as well as some more Yona the Dawn volumes uh, this weekend as well. Uh, so a lot of good content coming your way. Uh, so if you haven't already, uh, please do consider uh, subscribing to the channel uh, so you can get to these videos when they drop. And you can join in on all this excitement uh, alongside me. Uh, like I mentioned a couple of my other videos, uh, if you would like to help me out with growing this channel, I finally picked up a couple of new subscribers. Uh, please continue, you know, like, commenting, subscribing, all that good stuff. Because uh, YouTube really does love it when you push those buttons. Uh, and that really helps promote my channel and really helps me out a lot. Uh, so if you'd like to do that, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, so without further ado, I, I'm, just, I'm so excited to dive into this. Without further ado, let us dive into it with Goku Roku. I'm tripping over my tongue here. Goku Rakugai, Chapter 1, The Troubleshooters of Goku Rakugai. Just, oh! Just, you cannot do this to me with a design. You just cannot! So we have, I'm coming, I'm coming as you hear a phone ringing. You have, geez, Miss Tao, would it kill you to answer the phone? You have, hi, Goku Rakugai, Goku Rakugai Troubleshooter Agency here. As you have uh, this red-haired mop kid picking up the phone as he's bringing back a basket of laundry uh yes yeah, so like I mentioned chapter one by Yuto Sano with translation by David Evelyn and learning by uh, Kyla Aiko you have the world's become a strange place how can so many people be disappearing every day it's like I've heard there have been more mysterious deaths lately too but everyone turns a blind eye until they're the victim and this town looks no different than usual you have a sign with Goku Rakugai Troubleshooter Agency. You have a, huh, old man, you talk too much. <laughs> and you see the old guy's like, huh? As a little fang gremlin boy just like picking his ear. He's like, I see, thank you. He's like, here you, here you go. The incriminating photos and the negatives. He's like, say, don't you think it's about time you gave up these backdoor brothel trips? <laughs> Oh man, is this fucking gonna have? Oh god, this is gonna awaken so many things in me. This is gonna awaken so many things in me. And you see, in the trip, it looks like he's making it with some kind of furry lady. I don't even know what to describe it as yet. It's like it's hard for a man to give up these things. I'm, it's like it's hard for a man to give these things up. I'm sure you understand. It's like nope, can't say I do. But you've got a real talent for getting snapped in the act. A useless talent at that. <laughs> and you have Miss Tao go and admit it. You're just a sicko, yeah? And she just lights up a smoke. Ma'am? Mm, just, like, just pushing all my buttons here. And uh, you have uh, Mop Head, whose name I don't think we've gotten yet, going, are you trying to get featured in the tabloids? And uh, Ms. Tao goes, your escapades aren't helping us tons, though. All right, the fee is five. <laughs> she has five hundred thousand, and he just slams something down on the slams the money down on the table. It's like, what? It's like I see you're not beating around the bush today. It's like, ah, oh, well, you're always solving my problems. I figured I shouldn't inconvenience you any further. It's like, huh? Now you're being Mr. Modest. It's like, well, if there's anything, nothing else I can do for you. 
And you see, uh, you have my thanks. I'll let you know if I need your help again. So he's just looking all flustered, flustered. And he's trying to make a quick exit. He's like, hold it. It's like, this smell. It's like, you're lying, aren't you? <laughs> he's like, oh, 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 whatever you mean. And he goes and picks up the envelope of the money. And he's like, ah! As he opens it up and it looks like it was padded with just a few bills in there and a stock of envelopes in the back to pad it out. He's like, how dare you pull this kitty crap on us? Like we wouldn't find out almost immediately as he pulls him back in. He's like, ah, I'm sorry, I'll pay, I'm sorry. He's like, but, but, it's like you're charging too much. It's downright unscrupulous. And she's like, oh, you picked a fine time to start complaining. This town doesn't run on friggin' scruples. Don't make me repeat myself, Mr. Cho. If these photos ever get out, 500,000 yen ain't gonna solve your problems. We're the only people you can count on now, aren't we? It's like, got that? <laughs> oh, God. And you see her just leaning in all menacing and she holds the lighter up and starts burning his little mustache. I'm just saying, people would pay for that service. I'm just saying. And she goes, pay up now. And you see the guy just about to shit himself. He's like, hey, you had the money the whole friggin' time. And you have a whap as a slob. He's like, yoch! Like, serves you right, dummy. And you see on the next page, they've gone to a fancy restaurant with Horai Restaurant. And you see it also next to a Mahjong parlor. And you see them just gulping down some gyoza and ramen as they're treating themselves to a feast. And you have, man, oh man, you sure can't back it away, Alma. It's like, lucky dog, you never get fat. Where does that food even go? And he goes, just out my ass, like usual. It's like, too much info. He's like, you have awful manners too, Miss Tao. <laughs> and she's just casually reading a paper as she's eating. He's like, like you're any better, Yaya. He's like, oh, again with this? It's like, these missing persons cases just won't stop. And you see strange happenings, 108 people dead or missing. And she's like, come to think of it, the customers have been talking a ton lately. They say a lot of disfigured animal bodies have been popping up in alleys lately. Cats mostly. And uh, was it Alma? It's like, yeah, Alma's like disfigured. It's like they have huge bite marks on them. And they've been sucked dry of blood. Plus, people have been disappearing near the same spots. Don't you think this is a job for some troubleshooters? <laughs> and I was just like completely unimpressed face. Doesn't give two shits. It's like if anyone was in trouble, they would come to us. We haven't gotten any gigs like that. And Yaya's like, because your office is so hard to spot. You've been a Mahjong parlor ever since you moved in. <laughs> so you see that they're apparently above the restaurant, but they haven't taken down the sign for the Mahjong parlor. It's like, change your darn signs. It's like, nah, waste of money. And Alma's like, okay, I'll make one. It's like, ooh. It's like, Alma would make it look like a grade school art project. It's like, actually, forget about the sign for now. Hurry and fix this problem. It's like, okay, then you'll pay us. And he's like, I meant as a courtesy. He's like, look how cute I am. You wouldn't risk me getting kidnapped, would you? He's like, yep, so very cute. He's like, you bet I am. It's like, true, you are cute, Yaya. And he's the chef just slapping her, be like, get back to work, you little dummy. And you see later Alma just swinging around a bag as he's chewing on a bun. Going, got some cardboard, bought some paint, and I bought some snacks and smokes. Oh, I know Miss Tao up and down. Every little nook and cranny I've been around. Damn lucky little bastard. You see, da 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 as he's singing to himself, waking his way back up to uh, the office. And he sees a little missing uh, children's post of like this little cat-eared person. With scar on left cheek, hold on, let me zoom in on this. Scar on left cheek, white hair, beast ears, dark olive green gloves, a little over 140 centimeters, Yukiharu something. Whoever finds a $5 million reward. He's like, the hell's with this hand drawn poster? You can't just hang stuff on our. He's like, whoever finds will receive 5 million yen. Please call here with any information. His eyes start bugging. I was like, five million? And you see, he thinks of Miss Tao trading him to a feast of, you've done good, Al. Eat till you drop. He's like, woohoo! Whoa, what's like, the heck's this? And you see uh, someone spraying something. He's like, whoa, the heck's this? Smells like chemicals. 
and you see uh, this guy in like a little paper boy cap just spray painting uh, like a picture of someone like in a kimono with like a kitsune mask on there like holding a sword. And then as soon as he's like, what, what do you want? He's like, wow, pretty. <laughs> and then he just slams him on the head with a dumbass. He's like, if you draw graffiti up walls like this, auntie will chew you out and Miss Tao will take every last penny you've got. He's like, I'm not drawing on the downtown walls for fun, darn it. He's like, take this place seriously or you can kiss all your cash goodbye. He's like, you need to take me seriously. If you want cash, I've got five million. He sees him putting up the little missing posters. He's like, huh? You did this too? He's like, yeah. <laughs> Alma just grabs his hand. <laughs> okay, you know what? I have to tone down my thirst. I have to tone down my thirst in this, for this chapter. It's getting a little out of hand. But you see him just trying to intimidate the little artist bro going, as uh, Miss Tao goes, cop off the cleaning expenses. I'm thinking 300,000 will do. And he's just shake. It might be a one, it might be a girl actually now I'm thinking about it. Uh, but they're just like holding on to Alma's coat with like a grip as they're shaking. It's like, nice clothes you're wearing. Off with them. It's like, I'm not giving you my cash or clothes. And she's like, then how do you plan on paying what you owe? You gonna try and lick the wall clean? And he's like, what, what do I do? What do I do? These weirdos have me in their clutches. I really wouldn't want to have to use this, but it's like, I'm... I'm the scion of the Kiyomine Zaibatsu. I'll tell my parents that you tried to extort me. And I uh, was just like, oh, neat. Hey, what's a scion? And Tao's like, a spoiled rich kid, huh? Like, I guess we could mooch off you. He's like, ugh. It's like, you can't have it. I'm using all my savings in order to save my friend. So no way. She's saying Tao's like, friend. And uh, Alma's like, oh, that reminds me. Look at this, as he shows Tao the poster. And he's like, hey. He's like, why'd you take that off the wall without asking? And Tao's thinking back to uh, Yaya saying, Again with this? The missing person keys just won't stop. It's like, you put it up without asking us first. And Tao's like, hey, Runt. He's like, my name is Luca Kiyomine, not Runt. He's like, okay, Luca, tell us about this case. And as they're fighting with Alma, it's like, where's this coming from? He's like, I'll forgive the money you owe. He's like, you will? Uh, okay, then. It's like, you've heard of the recent rumors, right? With the disfigured corpses? And almost like the one about people disappearing? It's like, yeah. Two days ago, my friend Yuki went missing. Then I came across the corpse of a bird in the back alley I walked through all the time. And on the ground next to it was Yuki's hat. I'm pretty sure the bad guy who's been killing all those animals kidnapped him. I know there's no point in telling you people this. And I need to zoom in. <laughs> I was like, what's that? It's like, don't like the way you put that. So I just don't get why bad things happen to good guys like Yuki. The kids at school would always brag and badmouth people, and they especially disliked me. It's not like I wanted to be born into that family in the first place. Yeah, a little flashback as Luca makes her way back into the house, and that's the father going, Luca, you've still been wasting time on those pointless doodles, haven't you? Quit drawing. I made sure to clear a room of manga and other useless junk. And you see Luca, I assume this is drawing like their OC as they draw like little wolf mask uh, person that they're like spray painting on the wall. And the crying and sniffling as they're sitting on a bench. Okay, apparently it might be a dude. And you see uh, the missing kid coming up behind him with the weird get ups like, what? It's like, huh? Oh, nothing. It's like, that's one sweet drawing. It's like, really? It's like, no one's ever told me that before. It's like, heck yeah, it's so cool. Boy, you're a great artist. Did you come up with that character yourself? It's like, uh-huh. It's like, hey, is that... You see, like, a little leopard tail coming out from behind. Let me just look up what his name was. Uh, was it Yuki Haru? Da -da -da -da. Yeah, Yuki. Yeah, Yuki Haru. Uh, you see Yuki Haru going, oh! It's like, uh, I'm guessing you don't want any beastmen wandering around here, huh? Sorry. He's like, huh? Oh! And he says, uh, never associate with lowly beastmen. That was the rule my father ingrained into me. But, he's like, oh, wait! And he uh, grabs him by the hand, he goes, I want to talk to you some more. It's like, soon after, he was the first person other than a family member to call me by my name. You see him, like, eating snacks together, and he's just, like, watching drawings, and you have him, like, playing on the swing together. It's like, Yuki was my very first friend. The drawing that helped bring us together might be the thing that brings Yuki back to me. 
If money can bring them back, then I'll pay you everything I have. I'll do anything I can. And Alma's like, okay, I'll give you a props for your tenacity. But isn't Goku Rock guy too large to handle solo? And he's like, I don't care if I'm doing this solo. He's my best friend. I'll save him even if it's all on my own. And Tao's like, a kid can't crack this case on their own. And he's like, I'm not relying on adults anymore. The police and my parents treat me like a child and... <laughs> and you see Alma just putting a casual hand around him going... Man, can't you take a hint? And he just draws him close like, she's saying that we'll help you. It's like, huh? It's like, I'm Alma. She's Miss Tao. And we don't mind being the Yuki Rescue Squad. He's <laughs> like, why are you two? Nobody asked you to. He's like, we're to the troubleshooters of Goku Rakugai. If you've got any problem at all, Miss Tao and I will solve it. Because fixing issues is what we do. And you see him right now on the little cardboard. Uh, Goku Rakugai Troubleshooting Agency. And Luca's like, ah, oh. like, talk about shady. And he's like, ah, see what you did? Our sign's all bent. <laughs> Started fighting with him again. He's like, anyway, I don't have time to mess around with you guys. I told you my story, so now I owe you nothing. And you have Alma going, cheeky little pipsqueak, I swear. And Tao's like, can't say you're any better. He's like, what? And uh, she looks outside the window, like, it's starting to get dark. He's like, ah, yeah, it's like, it's about time for the disaster hour. And you see Luca running away from the building with, ha, ha. It's like, great, they're not chasing after me. It's like, what was up with those guys anyway? I've never heard of her. <laughs> I've never heard of a troubleshooter agency before. Plus, they're shady and pushy. <laughs> it just has like an image of like evil grinning. Oh my god, because fixing issues is what we do. And Tao with just a Hanya mask, and then how do you plan on paying what you owe? And you have, there's no way those guys are legit. And Luca thinks back to the police dismissing him, and it's like the father also being dismissive. It's like, but they are the only ones who actually listen to my story. It's like, no, can't get lost in thought right now. I have to put up all my posters before it gets dark. I also gotta go check all the back alleys I drew pictures in. It's like, no one's here. I need to find it before it gets too dark. It's like I put art in one more spot. Oof, and you see at that spot, uh, there's a dog with its like rib cage and like bits just like torn out and eaten into. Uh, and you see another bloody, or, sorry, it's a flashback to uh, the bloody bird he found next to uh, Yuki's cap. And he runs into uh, the alleyway where next to the little picture he's drawn, you see a bloodied Yuki like standing next to it. He's like, I, I found you! He's like, Yuki! He's like, Lou? Ka? It's like, are you hurt? Are you all right? It's like, I've been looking all over for you. I knew you'd recognize the art and he's like, Luca, so you have to stay away. And he sees like these two crows like flying in all ominously. What the hell is this? And you see like this doorway opening up like a little portal as the two crows are flying out. And you see like this giant eyeless two headed monster also stepping out of the portal. And Luca's like, huh, what, what, what is that? It's like, Yuki, hurry. It's like, hurry, let's leave together. And you see Luca just like still dazed and weak. Like, Luca's like, run away. And you see an, oh, god damn. And you see the monsters just grabbing him and lifting him up and like throwing, oh, to throw him into his jaws. And thinks back to like Luca, oh, you having done like this crappy little drawing of Luca. And Luca's just like, ah, as he like tries to throw his, uh, Supplies like bag at the monster try to distract it Throws the money at it as well to try and uh, get them to drop and you see the other head just going for The monster eat him Yeah, the monster might have eaten Yuki and as he's like crying like throwing the money at him you see the other head going in uh, for Luca And right before it snaps his teeth you see Alma rushing in to the rescue as he grabs him out of the way He's like Alma! It's like that was a close call. It's like you got guts kid it's like, I'm sorry. It's like, I apologize for earlier. It's like, so please, you have to save Yuki. It's like, leave it to us. Oh, God. And you see Tao just pulling up a gun as uh, you have, I assume, you nab anyone who goes near those animal corpses and eat them, you rotten worm. <laughs> and you see that she just blows apart uh, one of the heads. Okay, so Yuki still hadn't been eaten yet. Uh, I was still just, uh, you still just clutched in the arm. 
Uh, but you see her blowing apart one of the heads as Alma goes running forward and grabs Yuki as he's falling. Uh, before one of the other heads can uh, snatch, uh, snatch, snatch him in its jaws. And he's like, gotcha! And he just like jumps off the, bounds off the wall with the lands with a humph. It's like, Luca, take care of him. He's like, sure. He's like, of course. He's like, all righty. I'd say it's about time to take out the trash. <laughs> and you see the monster is basically like a hydra as the stump is already starting to heal and a new head's popping out. And Alma's like, don't worry, Luca. This won't even take three minutes. And as the monster's rushing towards him, you see Alma also rushing forward. And he kicks back the middle head with a huge blow, sending it snapping back. And he launches in to kick the second head that's coming in for a blow. And after he kicks the first head, he then spins around and smacks the other head. One of the other heads to the side. And uh, Luca's like, Ms. Tao, what is that thing? Oh, God. <laughs> so I have been seeing memes about this for the past couple of days. Everyone is catching up with these chapters. And how everyone's like, this is going to piss so many people off. It's going to become a meme. And it's this line of Tao saying, you know, these things are called MAGA. Some call them disaster beasts. <laughs> Obviously with the whole, like, mega, make America great, uh... Slogan in the U.S. right now. Uh, it's very, very timely. <laughs> and Tao continues, There are menaces on legs who drink human blood and feast on flesh. Literal monsters created from the resurrected corpses of man and beast. And she's like, but Mega? It's like, no way, that's a real thing. So like, do you think you're looking at a human? Uh, no, Tao's going, do you think you're looking at a human right now? Hell is a place. If demons exist, so do disasters. It's like, who in the world are you people? And she goes, to the public, we're troubleshooters who help people. But behind the scenes, we troubleshoot the weird cases caused by Mega. Simply put, we're what you'd call Mega killers. <laughs> God, I also just, oh, everything about her design is just like pushing all my buttons. Just the pose, the smile, the hair, just, go. Oh! Like, you can see, I was excited to dive into this series. Like, the thirst is real. And Luke is like, killers of those things? It's like, aren't you afraid of them? It's like, afraid. Fear is the first emotion I killed off. And you see Luca still just exchanging blows with uh, the MAGA. And you see one of them's like, ripping out his tongue at him. And he just catches it, yanks it forward, and punches it in the face. He's like, hit it, Miss Tao. He's like, what? What is that? And you see as uh, he unzips his jacket, you see like the little circular hole in it. And she goes Kai as he pulls something out of his chest. Oh, that's sick. And you see him just pulling out like this short black blade out of his chest as one of his eyes also goes all black. Like the sclera turns completely black on one of his eyes. And Luca's like, he's not human? And Tao's like, you afraid? The source of Amaga's special powers is their blood. Al was born with that blood. A child born between Maga and man. Al is half Maga. So like, don't let your heart become Maga Alma. Your blood isn't inherently good or evil. So slay evil and save others. Live your life as a human. I'll slay evil, kill the Maga, so I can keep being someone worthy of Miss Tao's trust. So I can say that I picked the right way to live my life. I'll hack and slash every last one of you bastards. And you see him just cutting down with the sword as he slices the MAGA in half. And he just completely bisects it and it just kind of withers away. And then he sheathes the sword back. And he's like, whew. You have case closed. So let's get Yuki to the hospital. Can you stand, Luca? It's like, you afraid? And he just starts like tearing up again. He's like, Alma, Miss Tao. It's like, thank you. He's like, mm hmm, as he just does like a little peace sign. <laughs> Tao's like, uh huh. And you see later, man, wonder how much I could have eaten at that primo Yakuniku spot, Enzo, within five, with five mil. And uh, Tao's like, if you had that kind of dough, your tab at Horai would come first. He's like, and boy, I wonder how much that wall art is going to be worth once that kid makes it as an artist. And Tao's just like, uh huh, as you have a not listening. He's like, and you know what else? I'm bored. 
and you see a knock knock as Luca's like yikes you guys going out of business it's like Luca it's like hey is that food it's like geez you catch on quick it's like they're donuts it's like what's up you in trouble again it's like no not today it's like here some of the bills got soggy but it's yours and they're like nah keep it it's like huh it's like we don't take money for cleanup jobs besides it was your hard work to help track down Yuki it's like yeah but it's like how's this when you make it big with your art you can treat us to some grub <laughs> oh sorry this was uh, the money thing was a flashback to after they saved uh, Yuki it's like I have a sense of pride too you know so like, where's the sign you made the other day He's like, oh, that? The rain killed it two days ago. It's like, you just let that plain piece of cardboard sit outside? It's like, oh, well, I figured that happened. Both of you come outside. <laughs> and you see, here's my gift to you. And you see a little fancy little sign set up outside with a little arrow pointing upstairs to Gokurakurai Trouble Shooting Agency. And it's like, oh, it's like, sweet. It's like, naturally, I designed it. It's like, yeah, true, you are a teensy bit more artistic than me. And you see as we're like horsing around, I was like, give me a break. It's like, I'm going to go visit the hospital now. You guys should come with me. It's like, oh, sure thing. It's like, but first we eat. It's like, you just ate, Al. End of chapter one. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so I guess some quick thoughts on it. Uh, art, absolutely phenomenal. Just very very well done uh like oh creature design environmental design character design all off the charts all phenomenally done uh i don't have to tell you about miss tao being my favorite i've been thirsting over her this entire chapter that's not going to change she is absolutely going to be the main appeal of this series for me without a doubt even if everything else sucked this series would be like a 10 out of 10 purely based on her design attitude character vibes alone that would be more than enough uh, but apart from that this is actually an entertaining story so far not anything super unique but it is well told and it is entertaining like it keeps you invested and interested in the characters uh, it has good dose of humor it has good action uh, again like it's a great art uh, so it's got a lot going for it, even if it's not, you know, super unique. It's going to be a little bit harder for me to take the mega thing seriously just because of the unfortunate kind of correlation to the U.S. stuff. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be the cool one kind of thing that's always going to just kind of take me out of it as an, like, like the unfortunate coincidence bit of it. Uh yeah, apart from that, this has series has a lot of potential uh, with regards to the world building and everything else. So I'm looking forward to seeing a di deeper dive uh, into all of that. Uh, but yeah, great pilot chapter. I can see why this series has gotten so much uh, so much hype around it, uh, so much excitement. Looking forward to more. Uh, yeah. So like I mentioned, because this one was quite a long chapter. Because uh, like I think I mentioned, this is, I believe, a monthly series. So the chapters will be, uh, I think, quite a bit longer than uh, typical Shonen Jump stuff is. Yeah, looking at the next chapter, it's already 55 pages. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try to get to at least one more chapter today. Because uh, I think half an hour isn't too bad for one of these. Uh, but there's six chapters out right now. So the plan is I'll try to catch up with two more tomorrow. Uh, then hopefully by next week I'll be fully caught up. So look forward to that. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this newest addition to the weekly roster, or I guess monthly roster now, because technically we'll see once we get caught up. Uh, but I hope you did enjoy this new addition uh, to the channel. Uh, I am going to apologize in advance for the amount of thirsting I'm going to be doing over Tau. That's just, you're just going to have to put up with that. I don't know what else to say. It is going to be frequent and it will be intense. So that just warning you ahead of time. Uh, nothing I can do about that. Uh, like I mentioned at the beginning, if you do like my content, you know, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Like I said, there's a lot of good content coming your way to look forward to. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you haven't already do that, please, because it does help me with YouTube's algorithm with promoting my videos, which means, you know, I can keep putting out content uh, like this. Uh, it keeps giving me the motivation to keep going. Uh, and any help with regards to that would be greatly appreciated. 
Uh, tomorrow, I'll look forward to Spy Family and the next chapter of Akane, along with some more Yona of the Dawn. Uh, but yeah, and also probably small channel update. Uh, a lot of stuff coming out. Until next time, this is Ash. I'll talk to you all later.